Hey love lovers, hello everyone, bonjour, khuye medak, san bonani, molueni, I'm trying to think about the languages that I can think about right now, <laughs> to say hello, <laughs> simplement, <laughs> anyway, today we are doing the last aspect you guys, woo been a long time eh whoa so we finally here now whoa moon conjunct moon and it's a speciality because uh, <laughs> guess who's got um, a conjunction of moon and moon guess who is it yeah it's me Simona. yeah so it's very very special this is episode so i'm gonna do it with a big smile this one oh well, maybe not <laughs> let's get into the details Rule number one about a conjunction of moon and moon in synastry is that the sign is a very important here. The sign very very important. Like if you don't know the birth time, of course you know you don't know the house that's impacted. So that's not you know too much uh, important. But for the sign, it's very important because. When the moon and moon are conjunct in synastry, it tells us that it's, it's acting like one moon. So we're basically now reading what a moon in a certain sign does, right? Because moon plus moon plus a what does it do? Two moons. <laughs> anyway, so with the conjunction of moon and moon, guys, like here, it becomes deep. Like the connection is extremely deep. Like particularly for people like us, you know, with signs and Scorpio. Because like I said, me and my husband have this conjunction and ours is happening in Scorpio. In Scorpio. Can you guys imagine how deep the feelings go how deep the emotions go how deep the thoughts go so this is why i say it's going to be very important to look at the sign for this one because in air signs it's not going to be extremely emotionally um, involving as it is such as in our case right so what i say here will not be extremely extremely applicable throughout because it really depends on the sign because the moon itself is all about emotions right from the description but the sign molds those types of emotions because then when it we're talking about capricorn then it's going to be uh, the lack of expressions of the of those emotions and then when it's uh, in in aquarius then it's going to be extremely extremely lack of you know acknowledging even the existence of those emotions as well as wanting to uh, just, you know, share uh, with the whole community, unable to share what you have for your partner with, you know, with just your partner. You want to share it with everyone, right? So it really gets important now, the sign uh, for this one, for the conjunction. Because why? Because then we're going to be able to determine if we are having a good day or if we are having a bad day. We're having a good uh, marriage relationship or we're having a bad marriage relationship because here the conjunction can go either way. It can go badly and it can go, you know, in uh, towards a positive um, direction. So with the conjunction of this sort, we can never say, you know, no, it's a good one. It's positive to have a conjunction. And we can also not say, oh, no, it's a negative. It's bad or whatever, right? We can't. But as you have noticed with all the other aspects that we've done up until yesterday, we were able to at least see where we're going. We were able to see if the relationship is mostly happy or is mostly um, unhappy, right? But with the conjunction, it's so it depends on their sign right 
Now, guys, it's very important that when we're talking about the signs, we don't go into, you know, the discussion with a mind, with a set mind that certain signs are bad and certain signs are good because there is no such thing. Like, I know people who think the worst about a Scorpio sign, right? <laughs> they think that, you know, Scorpio is at the worst of the worst of the zodiacs. They also think that the Aquarius are the worst of the worst of the zodiac and so on and so forth, right? Of which this is not true. It will never be true because... If you really take a look at what each sign does, each sign has its own purpose in this life. And in the, ca in the case of an Aquarius, for example, you will find people, m more people who are termed on earth as psychopaths, for example, right? Why is that? It's, it's, it's simply because they are not able to understand their emotions. So they tend to make a whole lot of research, you know, trying to um, find out about emotions. Like they want to, in, to interpret emotions on an intellectual level point of view right so they're going to work so hard towards understanding you know their emotions and how you know the other partner is expecting these emotions to be displayed so they can be seen as a psychopath in that way because everything they do they do it practically according to what they learned and not according to what they feel because they cannot feel it they are unable to feel emotions that, you know, they're a polar opposite of it, which is like, you know, Scorpio, Pisces, you know, the people who really feel, right? So the Aquarius, for example, is going to just like try to mimic what the society is doing. So when it comes to romance, the romance is also going to be done in this way. So you find that this couple in an Aquarius uh, a sign, for example, of this conjunction, they are literally doing everything right according to what the society is expecting, according to what their friends are doing. So they are copying, you know, their friends, they are observing what their friends do with their wives, with their husbands, and they do it too. They observe what, you know, the media is saying about being in a couple, what's expected, and they do it too. They uh, observe about, you know, the Valentine's Day and all of that, that you have to buy roses, you have to do this, and they do it to, to the T, right? But inside, they continue to feel empty together, right, in this conjunction. So it's like their bodies are here in this relationship. They're doing everything so romantically to the T, but still feeling empty, still feeling and emotionally connected together, right? Only intellectually, because also remember, moon is mind. So on the intellectual point of view, they are connecting 100% the best way because they are able to think, plan, strategize together and agreeing like they don't even have to convince each other because they're thinking the same thing right because it's what a moon conjunct moon is about it's about literally you don't have to talk you just like you just know what to do you just you wake up and you guys it's like you were thinking about it like the same thing and you just go like oh we're doing this today oh, i was thinking the same thing as well we're going here today oh, I, was do I was thinking the same thing as well right but then when it comes to um, Scorpio signs, for example, watery signs, um, then here it's also including the emotions, not only, you know, on the thought level, but also on the emotions level, whereby, for example, in my case, in my relationship, it's like sometimes you feel like we are in being so intrusive in each other's thoughts, in each other's feelings because we feel each other each other's things 
it's like tele it's like a telepathy actually because sometimes i would know that my husband is outside without them telling me that without him telling me that he's outside and then i will open the door and then two minutes later he comes in then i'm like yeah I, I felt you i felt that you were here and it happens the same way with him too i'll be thinking something and then he just comes to me and he says what i'm thinking and he say and he asks me a question on it and he says right then you know it's just, we have so many of these scary telepathy um situations right like it feels sometimes it's so intrusive we do joke about it a whole lot because it doesn't happen only one time in a blue moon it's like a, an occurring thing where you, you 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 don't it's like you don't even have like time to to observe your own emotions alone because the other person already already senses what you feeling already knows what you're feeling already knows what you're thinking about and then they're just gonna you know blurt it out oh my goodness it this is why i say sometimes you cannot say a, a certain sign is bad or a certain sign is good it's just that each sign is experiencing things the way that they do so perhaps they you know obviously in vedic astrology then they say moon in scorpio is debilitated right meaning that a conjunction of these moons of in this relationship in this synastry would be you know say oh it's a debilitated relationship <laughs> now that i think about it it actually sounds, i mean it actually sounds weird you guys <laughs> like oh my gosh like my relationship is is a debilitated relationship <laughs> but you guys you see <laughs> but anyway so <laughs> i'm just gonna laugh alone i'm just gonna stop <laughs> oh my gosh that is just a good laugh because i mean <laughs> as i talked about it <laughs> i literally i literally you know translated what it means it means that you know a conjunction of moon and moon in scorpio in synastry is a debilitated relationship according to the vedic perspective right but what does that mean really does it mean it's a bad relationship because no it's not and no we don't um we don't feel i don't know like what a debilitation is supposed to mean we don't feel lack of emotions we don't feel lackness of of connection we don't feel lackness of anything otherwise it, it's actually the opposite we feel um a whole lot to the point that it's like telepathy to the point that we don't have to say anything to each other we can just think it and the other one they get the message you can just feel it and the other one they already know what's up right so i really when people talk about debilitation and exaltation we should not take them to the point that we um we put titles of bad and good because then we're going to miss the point all right but what i do know though for sure um from experience as well is that uh, a conjunction of moon and moon in taurus okay even though people say it may be exalted whatever right but what i do know is that these are actually the couples that would be able to do the worst of the worst in uh, against the society and they don't feel any regret about it this is a couple that could literally uh, uh steal money and don't feel badly about it these are the types of couples that we've seen for example uh, do you remember there's that couple who uh they produced fake fake uh, results for their daughter to enter into harvard you know there was that scandal right when parents were paying a lot of money for their parent for their kids to get into harvard 
and they were arrested, right? So these are the types of couples with these moons of in Taurus because they want stability so much they would do anything and they would not feel any guilt about it or any um, any regret about it because why because moon is exalted meaning that it's feeling like it's a president it's feeling like it's the king it's feeling so comfortable and it feels like it's the angel of the angels and that it is right right so when you feel like you're right when you feel like you're at the top of your world you don't feel like you're doing anything wrong right because you feel like ha huh, everything is owed to you you the top dog right right so again like let's not uh, focus too much on bad and good because you know when we get really deep into what the signs are able to do are capable to do you guys would be shocked shocked but then that's not the lesson i just wanted to <laughs> um touch up on this debilitation exaltation thing because it made me laugh a lot oh yeah yeah in any case so that's the deal guys look at the sign because i mean then you know we would have to go sign and then it would take us maybe another video per sign you know trying to explain what we would experience but then from these examples that i've just given you guys you able to see right but to make a summary again just to summarize what's happening here is that you know you you guys you both you soothe each other when this conjunction is here when you have a conjunction of moon and moon you're able to soothe each other to feel like you know you can shush each other's emotions but also you can uh make yourselves react to the top of the top of the top level right because remember moon fluctuates it's up is down it's up is down and also you can also take each other into the heights of depression and take yourselves out of the depression again depending on the signs the signs here play a huge role the sameness become very visible right where there's telepathy the absorption of emotions absorption of mental uh, thoughts and also easily trigger each other easily trigger each other's uh, reactions as well right and uh, of course when it comes to resources as well it's the same it's it, it becomes the same literally your money becomes my money my money becomes your money it's just like you can't differentiate anything right and again when it comes to uh the moon what i and conjunct moon these people can be home buddies right because moon moon is like you know uh, the signification of home right so you could be literally home bodies you like to be at home together you like to just you know just be at home right but again look at the sign because the aquarius sign would want to be in everybody's home you you guys would be going you know to sleep at your friend's house this saturday you go to sleep at you know a camping site the next time so again it's really difficult we, we to put an umbrella um you know because <laughs> the signs really become important here but anyway guys so oh another important part that is we can talk we can talk about which is like an umbrella is that you guys you enjoy each eat, eating together like feeding each other eating together cooking for each other this becomes your love language like the best love language and even if you if when your partner is not around for in my case when my husband is not around I don't feel like eating so much, right? But when he's around, because he likes to cook, he's the cook of the house, or he, he, he's the cook. So he's cooking. I feel like, oh, oh my gosh, I can eat. I'm going to be fed. Uh, you know, I can eat. And when he's around, I, I feel like he can eat freely. You know, so there's that sense of when they are away, you feel like, oh, you know, even this food, when I'm eating it, it's not going down my throat properly. <laughs> <laughs> right and when they are around it's like oh my god this food is going down properly you know i'm eating you know so there's that sense around food and a lot of travel you guys you love to travel 
a whole lot and again what, what you, why are you traveling again the signs will tell you for it for us in our case we love to travel for research because as i told you guys he's also a researcher um so we do a lot of travel you know researching a whole lot of stuff you know so we and then in case of you know the query signs they're traveling to see their friends they're traveling with their friend they're traveling for their projects within the community they're traveling to join the strike over there you know climate change and all of that and then for the capricorns they're traveling because of work they want to make connections they're meeting high people people with high standards and or high classes in the society trying to network and all of that you know tourists tourists they traveling because maybe they're going uh, to the bank to talk to the bankers they're traveling to make groceries they're traveling to restaurants they're traveling to meet their family uh, members here and there so again look at the signs and see why they're traveling so much but travel becomes part of this relationship you cannot separate it from this conjunction right and as i said because you guys okay for you know those who can really really connect emotionally you can also worry about each other so quickly it's like as i said telepathy right sorry the worry part becomes uh it's like because whatever they do impacts you so if there's something that doesn't go well maybe with their work whatever you already technically as well worried right and when they're so happy it's like it's you who's achieved all of these things that they've achieved because you are part of their feelings you become part of their uh, emotions and you know everything right just expressions right anyway guys i think uh we've gone we've done so much and uh, that was it and wow it made me laugh i i had a good laugh i love to laugh but anyway i'll chat to you soon i'll chat to you soon and be in two ciao ciao